Okay, in this video, we're going to be looking at images, editing images. So going back to here, you'll see we've got after links, we have images that need to be edited. There's always one thing that needs to be changed somehow. Uh, sometimes it's a flyer, you need to add a picture onto it. Sometimes it's cropping something, cutting it down, adding some kind of effect. In this particular exam, you are more than likely um, to be asked to get a picture. So I'm going to open this up. You'll see what I mean. Similar to this and crop it. So they might say, um, crop this image just so you have the front page showing on this page. And when you roll over, it changes to this page and that they both need to stay the same size. Sometimes they might say, choose any two pages. Sometimes they might say, we want to see the front page only, but when you roll over, it just goes to uh, the activities page and so on and so forth. So what we're going to do is we're going to basically get this page here, the front page, and we're going to have the activities page. I'm going to show you how we actually do that and make sure that this stays in the exact same size. First thing you need to do is open this up on, on, on Adobe Photoshop. So I've already got Photoshop open here. You can either go to file and open and find the image from your assets folder, or you can just drag it in to Photoshop like so. Once it's opened, um, all we have to do is crop it. So we're going to use the crop tool, which is here on the left hand side. And I'm going to zoom in. So control and plus. And you should always leave anything that says front cover. That is just for your reference so that you know which one they're talking about. You don't need to show this in your website. So you're simply going to go around the image. Like so. And you're going to just check if you need to get more out. You can do if you need to go in more. To get precise, you can do. So get as precise as you can, make sure there's nothing there, and you press enter. Now if I zoom out, what you'll notice is the rest of the image has gone. So I'm not going to just press save, because what that will do is it will get rid of everything, and then you'll be stuck. What you do instead is go to file, save as, and so we save for web devices. Remember, this is always what you go for if you're on Photoshop. I'm going to save this as PNG, but if it says JPEG, you, you click JPEG press save and I'm going to call this front cover so that I remember what it is okay there we go now I need the other one now so rather than crossing it off and open it up again if you press F12 let me say that again F12 which is a button found at the top of your keyboard there's a whole list of them it goes from F1 from the left hand side F2 then F3 F4 all the way to F12 what it does is it basically brings everything back to the default which is where it was uh, uh, originally so you go down and I can do the same thing with this one here so I'm going to go around this image I'm going to zoom in make sure that it's all precise I'm going to drag this one in just onto the edge there we go go down here scroll to the left there's a center square drag that up don't want to chop it off too much there we go perfect the left one seems fine the top one seems fine, so I'm going to press enter and then zoom out. There we go. And again, going to go to file, save for web and devices, and PNG is fine, making sure the number's correct, save. And this time I'm going to put activities page. Okay, save. Now you are going to be asked to do something like this at least once, hint, hint. So you must remember how to do that. Try to watch this video a couple of times to understand. So that, when you know how to do it, it's pretty easy. Now that I've got it, I can push this down and I'm just gonna use any page. So it doesn't really matter which page you put it in for this example, just find a page. So I'm gonna to go to my home page actually. And I'm gonna throw it here in the, on the right hand side. Insert media sorry image objects roll over image and we're going to find the picture uh, i'm going to go back to my assets folder and you'll see i've got activities page and i should have my front cover i'm going to say no to that and then i'm going to go to this again second one activities page press ok say no to that and alternative text you explain what it was so you're going to say image of the front cover of the flyer or leaflet or magazine whatever it might be just explain it and then say it roll oh it rolls over to the activities page you get an extra mark every time you fill this in 
Okay, so image of front cover of magazine rolling over to the activities page. And for additional marks, you will describe what is actually on that page. So I'm going to put magazine cover there. Press OK. Click away. I'm going to drag this in. I'm going to, I quite like the size of that, so that's fine. So I'm going to leave that there. Save. Go back over here. I'm going to go to the home page. And you'll see it, it changes. And it's the same exact size. Notice how the color scheme matches as well. And they tend to be because they will give you the assets that should match the color scheme of the website they're asking you they are asking you to make. So that's basically it. You will be asked to do this at least once. The next thing that you would you could typically find with an image like this is that what should happen when you click it. So what would happen is usually when you click it, it should open a larger version of that pit of that picture, maybe the original image. So when you click it, it does something. Now at the moment, there's nothing there. Okay. Although there seems to be some kind of link. So if you have to do that again, you see how it's glitching out. I don't know why it does this from time to time. And I know some people have had this issue in the lesson. When you click it, it goes up for some reason or it takes you somewhere. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back here. I'm going to delete that and just put it in again, very simply. Right click, it doesn't take that long. Roll over image. And I'm not going to type in anything right now. But you will obviously make sure that you do. If you have to redo it again, make sure you put the alternative text in there and the image name again. So magazine cover. So make sure you always type something in the alternate text. There we go. Done. Control S done. And hopefully now if I go back and refresh this, it seems, oh, I'm not sure why it still does that because there isn't any link on there. However, we're going to add a link now anyway. So how do you do that? Very simple. Here on the left-hand side, similar to the navigation bar, click on this button here, Browse, and you find the original image they provided for you. So you go to Assets and find the original brochure. There it is. Press OK. Say no to that. The target needs to be blank. And from if my memory serves me correctly, I'm going to save this, and it should, if I refresh this page now, if I click on that, it opens up the image as a new page because look at the original one, it's still there, but it opens up separately here as well. And if I click on it, you can see it better. Okay? So this here is something you definitely need to learn, boys and girls. So please watch this video and get familiar with it.